So my good friend Milos and I spent about an hour crossing the city to get downtown for some shots of my hometown. I was born and raised in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, but I felt a lack of belonging, so I sold most of my things and traveled. I've come back home for the Christmas holidays, but if I'm honest, I still don't have the greatest sense of belonging. Nonetheless, although the city might seem like the same old, same old to me, I thought I'd make an effort to showcase it with as much wonder as I possibly could as a memorandum for myself and an introduction to foreigners that have not seen it. I've always called Toronto the tropics of Canada for its unpredictable weather. It's also considered the capital of Canada for music. In terms of tourist attractions, when I have friends visiting from abroad, I take them to Niagara Falls, which is only 45 minutes away. The CN Tower, which is right next to the Rogers Centre, formerly known as the Sky Dome, and the Distillery District, which is the oldest part of the city. We're about a week away from Christmas and just had our first snowfall. While walking through the city, I was in deep thought, telling myself that I don't want to spend the rest of my life here. I don't even want to be in North America. I view it as a land of excess. Instead, I want to live in France for a multitude of reasons. Given my blood condition, hemochromatosis, the food in France is far safer for me than in North America. And given the opportunities I've created for my music in France, I want to keep that going. Given the social etiquette they have over there, I know it will do wonders for that human connection I crave so much. Over here, everybody has this bubble of personal space and penetrating that bubble is like breaking a concrete wall down with a toothpick. The cost of living in France is far less simply because it's not the land of excess. People live within their means, not beyond them. And they don't live to work, they work to live. There's no competition, but over here, a lot of people, including myself, enslave themselves to get that big house, that fancy car, and a pair of glasses that would otherwise pay for a month's rent in France. And to what end? It's a trap. I get comments from friends and family who wish they had the freedom I have to pick up and go. They don't have that option because they've got too many things anchoring them here, like a mortgage for that huge house, car payments that could pay for a honeymoon every year. You see, money aside, I spent an hour shoveling snow with my father and we only got the backyard done. I don't want that. I want low maintenance. I don't want to have to clean three washrooms or cut three lawns of grass. I'd rather spend that time having fun with friends and family. I know what you're thinking. One bathroom sucks. But guys, France has figured it out. Toilets and bathtubs are in separate rooms. There's a bathroom and a washroom. So you can take a poop while your girlfriend does her makeup. What? Yeah, I said poop. I'm trying to keep it family friendly. My parents have a big house. I'm set up in the guest room, which is where I have a desk. And when I want to grab a drink, I have to go down the hall, down the stairs, across the hall, into the kitchen, pour that drink, and then go all the way back up. It takes the better part of five minutes just to do that. If I want to have a conversation with my mom, she's usually working in the basement. That's two flights of stairs. And if I yell, she can't hear me. I would much prefer a home without a big yard, without stairs, and without rooms that aren't being used daily. And all I need to do to get a glass of water or talk to a family member is walk 10 feet. What's more is that during the holidays, when everybody's here, we all gather in the kitchen or the living room by the Christmas tree. So the TV room isn't being used. The basement isn't being used. The rec room isn't being used. They have all of these rooms that barely get used. In their place, I'd rather have a small house with the option of a second house in another country 
than be stuck with having to upkeep and pay down this huge house. Going to France is a fresh start for me, and it's back to where my father's side of the family came from. I'm not saying that I'm turning my back on my friends and family. I will visit as often as I can. I may not even be able to officially move to France. What I am saying is that I'm turning my back on the old value system I used to have. Because take it from me guys, the real learning doesn't happen on your travels, it happens when you get back. I spent six months without my own place, without all those personal comforts, only to realize I didn't need them. It was all in excess to impress others and in the end, I felt like a prisoner working towards a life someone else planned for me. The countdown begins, I leave for France in a month and I really hope I can make it permanent for all the reasons I already mentioned. And most importantly, because here I'm Christian Paul, but over there I'm Christian le Canadien Paul. And that alone is enough reason to long for a life in France.